Doesn't this really change the game? It's like it's, ama it's more in more exciting for us. I don't know about viewers, but this is exciting for us. The things you do. Yeah, this is it. I I love how it floats, eh? It does look a lot better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, you could see that was gonna happen. And that's cast number one. Well, I'm not gonna do some damage with my next. That's bit. the same fish. No. That's my fish, mate. It's so good we're as stubborn as each other. Come hella high water. Yeah. We're going through the mud flats. <laughs> I don't like the high water nah, part of that. Nah, all right. Always think of you when spring comes. Like it's something in the air at that time. Don't know why. Always dream of you when spring comes. It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time. salt flat here and um, Wally did tell us that there's a few along this in, along this area before we're going to hit the coast and that there, there's a river system down here so we're trying to get to the river to go fishing and uh, it's quite a low tide at the moment just doing a bit of spotting on the drone to see where we yeah. can come through eh? but the tide's coming in yeah no that's a problem so so I don't want to get caught out and be stuck out here um, without all our gear for the night we don't have any camp gear with us or stuff or You really want you really would need two vehicles on these mud flats, eh? Well you just never know, yeah. yeah. Um so there was another track back there. I think we need to try and get out and around, stay on this, stay on the higher ground to get around these salt pans. Um just because the tide's coming in. We should be okay, but if you get stuck and the tide's coming in, you're in all sorts of trouble. Uh, this first bit doesn't look too bad, but Walt did say there was a few. So I reckon we're gonna spin around mate. It always looks good on these because it's always crusty on top, yeah. nice and soft underneath. Yeah, and we passed those ones the other day and they were okay, but there was there was one that stopped yeah. us. We did, and it was soft. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen, you've probably seen that footage already actually. Um, I could feel the arse end going down in my cruiser, so. Yeah, anyway, we're going to spin around, spin around try and find some, find some higher ground and get to the river. This is looking much better than the salt pan back there. But you never know what's up ahead. Oh, look at the moon up there. I reckon there'll be some pigs on there later when we come back out. So we've just come to another, we'll come to hopefully the creek. Um, this is what it's like out here. The boys have given us a bit of a rundown. You know, go to this gate, follow that fence line. When you get to this, turn left, do this. Um, but like we said, we ended up at the salt, on the salt flats. And now we've just taken a detour. We've come across this creek, which we're thinking is the creek, but it's super shallow and looks kind of fresh or brackish. It's got these reeds and the, um, a lot of Malaluka around. Makes me think it's fresh water, and I can't see which way it's flowing. So Dan actually has the drone in the sky. This is what we do quite often. These are really useful. We just shot the drone right up, and Dan's trying to work out. Oh, so many little tracks and river systems. That's a problem. Yeah. I know that's face. Well, there's there's us here. There's All right. The salt flats over there. Yep. And I keep turning around. I wonder if you guys can see this, but we're trying to get out to the coast. There's the 
coastline Water there. Is the coast. So we're trying. We we think the river comes around into here somewhere. It's so it's so it's tough. Crazy. We're just gonna have to keep driving and looking. But I don't think I feel like we're nowhere near where I thought we were gonna be. No, because I actually think there's the mouth right over here, man. Yeah. There's the mouth right over there where we were. There's. Battery level is low. Uh -oh. The aircraft will go to the home point in ten seconds. Quick, we got ten seconds to work it out. Mm -hmm. oh, it's coming back. Well, we've got more drone batteries, but I think we're going to follow the creek. These things are so windy up here because it's such flat country that um, well, there's a big guy running through the bush up there. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. We're trying to find this river. It could take a couple of hours. The tide waits for no man, so we were pretty pumped to be fishing the uh, the run-in tide, and then when the tide tops out, have lunch, and then fish the the run out, but I don't know at the moment, we might end up fishing this creek. Jason Barra in the freshwater. Oh look at this fruit here. I have to ask Wally what this is. I don't, I don't know what this one is actually. It smells alright though. Never eat anything out in the bush kids, That if you don't know what it is, don't eat it. And nature has a really funny way of letting you know if you smell something or you taste it. If you're going to taste it, they say put a, put a bit on your hand and see if you get a reaction on your skin first after like 30, 40 minutes. And if you don't, have a tiny little bit. And if it's bitter, nature, that's nature's way of telling you that it's probably not good for you. And there's only a couple of things that are um, that are really sweet and tasty that aren't good for you out here and out here in the bush. All right, we're going to find out where we're going and. Um, drone bush tucker man. Oh yeah. <laughs> there we go, we're coming down. Dan's just back in the ute, looking at the map and um, I'm trying to work out which way this water's flowing. It's so tempting just to fish here. It'd be pretty cool if our channel, if you could have like a, you know, you guys get to choose, do we do we change our plan and just walk down this river system and fish for Barra like we did in the Massey Creek the other day? Or do we stick to the plan and keep trying to, you know, full driving around trying to find a crossing through here to get to the coast or you guys choose? Apparently there's an old, old ramp or like, you know, dirt ramp around here somewhere to put a tinny in. Doesn't look like either. That looks all fresh. It does, hey? It looks so fresh down there, eh? It looks fresh and it looks exciting to mm. fish. I reckon it'd be loaded with barra. Mm. Look at these undercuts here with the rocks. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, either way, we're having fun, but mm. once Dan and I get an idea in our head of where we want to get to... That's where we're heading. It's so good we're as stubborn as each other. Come hella high water. Yeah. We're going through the mud flats. <laughs> I don't like the high water nah. part of that. Nah, end of the water, Alright. I don't know. I do not know. Well, I think the fishing addiction um, just overtook our stubbornness. Mm. Yeah. So that probably nice told you there's going to be a bit of a change of plan. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, we're going to hike down through this river. But one thing we have been talking about up here, and it's a really potential threat, is um, the coastal taipan. Mm. So, yeah, oh, all, and all snakes, hey? like, all snakes but I mean, yeah. number one, coastal taipan, and number two, probably a brown snake, the mulga, yeah. so king brown, um, a real threat to walking through this situation here, eh? So, no, it's like, he loves wearing bare feet. Um, because I, because, and I tell you guys this all the time, because I do slow down, I'm aware that I'm, ba I'm barefoot, and it slows me down, and I'm then aware of everything in front of me, and I'm, because you slow down, you see more, it's more exciting. Um, definitely don't go barefoot and just keep rummaging through the bush like you're in jeans and boots. Um, Especially with it, like you can see here, a lot of leaf litter. Yeah. A lot of leaf litter, it's hard to see. Um, but we talk about this all the time. Yeah, like, 100%. Like we'll be sitting by the fire at night and we think, we, I mean, Dan said the other night, mate, we need to go over our emergency plan again because it needs to be clear in your mind. So that's what we're doing now. We've just stopped. Yeah. So clear is in like, have a notepad and it's written down yeah. what you need. Because when something happens like this and your best mates sitting there with a potential life-threatening 
position. If you don't get this right, honestly, guys, you're dead. Yeah. We're in the middle of nowhere, yeah. and you've you've got a slim chance of, of survival if you get this right. Yeah. There's no there's no doctor, no helicopter anywhere close. So I mean, no. yeah. And like I said, we've both got families, so you're not yeah. you know we're taking a risk as we are being out here. But the same, yeah. So after we do after we show you guys, Dan and I are going to write it down again just so it's clear in both our minds. Um, but we'll go through it real quick with you guys. Basically, if um, let's say I get hit, Dan and I are going to stay quite close when we're in a situation like this. Um, if I get hit, I yell out, I've been bitten, I lay on the ground. If Dan's still coming to me, I've got, I take my pack off, I've got three or four bandages in here. I bandage the immediate area and know exactly where the bite was. If you've got That's a, important. a texture or something, mark on that yep. first bandage where the bite was. By that time, Dan should be to me. I just lay down, relax, and Dan has to keep reminding me everything's sweet. Just chill out, yeah. calm down. I'm going to take care of it. You've got to slow your heart. You, yeah. I know it's going to be you're in a major position, but you want to try to slow your heartbeat down so your blood's not pumping the venom through your yeah. your um, veins. Um, and then start with a bandage. So have as many bandages as you can, but start at the top, work your way down to the bite. Um, like. Dan just said that the blood, it can be going through your blood, it can be, but it's also in your, what's it called, like your lymphatic, lymphatic system. Lymphatic system. Yep. So yep. you're basically compressing that whole area, which is more than likely going to be a leg. So I bandage it up, I'm laying on the ground. Dan then gets my mobile phone, which has full charge. Um, we go into HEMA maps, so there's no password for Dan to get in, so if I'm out of it, Dan can still get in. HEMA maps. Could I just interrupt once there? Yep. Check, and I'll be checking the time at the same time. Yeah, so as yeah. soon as I, we know that as soon as we grab each other's phone and something like this has happened, it's instant check the time. So they're going to know when he's been bitten, what time, so how long it's been all happening for. Um, anywhere on the HEMA maps, you can see here we're in the middle of bloody nowhere. Cape York, middle of nowhere. We're trying to we're trying to work one of these creeks here. Okay. Um, so if one of us gets hit, you hit flag, create new waypoint, and it will give you your exact GPS coordinates of where you are. Woolworths. <laughs> We then <laughs> car park <laughs> take, a, take a screenshot to be safe. Yep. So then we've got it. Um, then Dan can be on the phone. We then grab out the satellite phone, um, point this to the sky, open it up, turn it on, point it to the sky. So first of all, Dan's going to call triple zero and call it all in. Once all that's taken care of and we know what's going on, um, hopefully helps on the way. We can then call the station where we are and talk to the obviously the traditional custodians of where we are. That's their land and they might come out and help as well. Um, all these phone numbers are in the phone, ready to go, and Dan and I both know them. So then help is on the way. I then carry two flares. We've got a nighttime flare and a daytime flare. So depending on how all this pans out, um, if the chopper doesn't come until night, you've got a flare for the right situation. And I think these go for about 60 seconds, so not long, but once you hear a chopper in the area, we light the flare and get taken out of here. Um, if we were closer to a town, you know, you could probably lay in the back of the ute, stay calm, and Dan could drive me there. But the, I think the best scenario, triple zero are going to tell us, but the best scenario will be a helicopter. And luckily today we're in quite, not a clear area, but... They could lift you out. They could lift us to. out. Yeah. yeah. So we've actually got all that. That's a good explanation there, because look how much stuff is involved in what you've got to do. So we've actually yeah. got the whole thing written down in a notepad, so we don't have to imagine trying to think of that in an emergency situation, trying to when remember you're step by step. Yeah. You, you're not, your brain's frazzling. It's something that you don't do every day. So we've got it all written down on a notepad so we can literally pull the notepad out step by step. There's there's our situation unfolding. But so what we recommend is go to a, go to a course, a first aid course, yeah. before, before. We're on edge before you, <laughs> um, before you go on any kind of trip like yeah. this. This but, is just us. This yeah. is our scenario and this is how we plan. So it yeah. doesn't mean it suits everyone or every situation, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. So don't take that advice. Just yeah. make sure you, you go and do it yourself. But time for some time. I, I, I've got a snake proof whole kit that I wear. It's like... <laughs> Dan wears overalls. Yeah, I've got overalls. They're plastic. It yeah. gets really sweaty. Yep. <laughs> that's right. I've got, got a snorkel that comes out the top. <laughs> I can breathe nice and easy. So, but yeah. All right, let's go fishing. All right. Whoop. All right, Tinny. I know we said we're taking you on an adventure today, but you got to stay behind. Here we go. We're going to cross. But you can't cross either. I'm not crossing in there anyway. <laughs> I think. What are you sending there? The slim twitcher. Oh. 
Got you. I love this one, this thing twitcher, because he, he twitches down about a metre and a half, but then he floats up. If you get yourself in a situation, you just wait for him to float back up over the log. It's weak too, that's why he loves the slim twitcher. It is handy eh, when you've got so much structure going on. Yeah. Oh, is that a fish? Yep, yep. Oh, Barra. That was a barra. The barra hole. It was a barra. Oh, look at the excitement on him. It's all uh, worth it now. Uh, Come on. Richard doing the damage. It's got to come up for a hit on this one. Ooh, nice. Yep. Little nice. one, this is a smaller one. Is that a JP? I think that's a JP, isn't it? No, a little baby. No, baby. That was a big one in there, though. Yeah, yep. There you go. What was that, third cast or something? Fourth cast? Mate, I... The Atomic Slim Twitcher. Sometimes I really doubt you when you look at these systems. I think, and I look and go, oh, I don't think there's barras in there, or well, bloody. Really? But they're, yeah. All right, not out here. I don't want troubles in my hand. No. Nah. There you go, guys. Just a little baby, but that was a big one that came out to have a look. And that's the one I'm going to get because it's now your time to film. Oh, is it? And my time to have a go at fishing, son. Right, you're going to have a dive. All right. Let's see what Dan's using. What have you got on, mate? It's called the Atomic Vibe and it's got the best set of trebles because I get caught on it every single time. Uh, anyway, here we go. Time. Right. Should we make it? Three cast each. Alright, that's a bit of a game. Oh, okay, alright. Let's, let's do it like this. That's one for me. Really two because I raised the other one. Yeah, you raised it on the other one. Alright, I'm happy to let her listening. I reckon if you get this one, I get half the point because I, I excited him. I think it's coming through too quick, eh? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. oh! That's two casts and he oh, just he had it at the right at his feet there. Right. Come on. Oh, I'm happy with the casting. Very happy with the casting. Come on. Come on. Yunk it. Yep, he's on. <sighs> oh, shot it. He's dropped it, and that's three. Oh! He's not, good with, he's not good with losing. Are you listening? No. Nah. Um, nah. <laughs> Nathan's not playing fair. It doesn't work that way, All buddy. Right. Okay, right, here we go. And you good. really don't know what you're... I, like I know, and then I'm thinking, have I made the right choice by going the bloody... This vibe's pretty... They're quite heavy, even though they're small. I don't know. It's your choice. Yeah, uh, I do my belt up. My pants are dropping down. No. Up there. The slim twitch has been doing some um, carnage on the barrows. Can I have a pit stop? No. Come on. You just can't. 20 set like, give me, give nah. me 30 seconds. No, nah, so make it if you want to do a pit nah. stop, you get one more cast. So yeah. while you're having a pit stop, the other person gets one more cast. Really? Yeah, I reckon that's fi I reckon that's you're feasible. That you're, you're well, mate, if you're in a race car, you're coming for a pit stop. You keep on going past. You don't stop. I don't come in and stop with you and go. All right, mate, I'll just sold up here. Why? Um. Yeah, you do. The, yeah. the car slows them down. Slows no, everyone down. No, no, that's just a, if there's a crash. Oh. Yeah. All right. So that's what happens. I just keep on firing. Well, if you I, if you I want to swap over, you. hey. I can't film you. That's fine. I don't need to. I have got math piece. Uh, right, quick. He's ready. You only get one. No, I don't. I'll get... No, you get one. One. Hit. No. I'm not. Is this what I'm going to? Oh, you mongrel. Yoink. First bloody structure and you've cheated. Oh, no, you're not happy. You've lost it. No, failed the... Uh... Karma came up. Oh, I'm still going. You're going again. Oh. <laughs> you're in the fit shot tonight and I'm stopping for you. I've got a good cast on this here. It's just really... Come on. Right. Oh, yeah! You mongrel. You mongrel. You mongrel. <laughs> Pretty nice, right? That's the colour of him. Real, real um, like swampy hair. Yeah. Yeah. And you got him on the little 50mm vibe. Yeah. But you cheated. No, I didn't. 
Take that thing out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Australia, mm -hmm. the world wants it out. Oh, it's, like, it's like taking someone. Oh. <laughs> taking some. There's a whole bucket full of dribble there for you. Uh, um, <laughs> now you sound better. It's like I'm playing a game of footy. <laughs> He cheats at footy, does he? No, did, no. Did you guys see? You guys missed that because I wasn't filming. It was all in this slobbery mouthpiece. But it's like I'm seven years old and my coach is taking my mouthpiece out when I was playing footy. <laughs> it's just stuff going everywhere. Anyway, get the lure out, throw him back. Yep. Good, good, good job, mate. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. Good job. Yeah. Not really. You can have the next. You can have. So I'm going to explain it to everyone. Dan, I wanted to change my no. I wanted to change my my leader over real quick because it was frayed from that last barrel. Dan said that's the new rule. That if you change lure, the other person gets one more cast. You don't. And he, he didn't. He threw three. And he got a fish on the third uh, one. What it be to be a sore loser, eh? <sighs> anyway, right, let's move to the next spot, eh? Right. I think there's a J, I think there's a little JP up there or something like that for your tarp on. I can't believe you cheated. I really can't. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I thought I knew you. <laughs> That's that's why. You're in my way. You're in my car. Sorry. Oh, this, this should be like another pit stop again. No, you're in my way. <laughs> this is just you're just burning time. You just pushed me into the pit stop. That's unfair. Doesn't this really change the game? It's like it's it's more in, more exciting for us. I don't know about viewers, but this is exciting for us. The things you do. Yeah, this is it. I I love how it floats, eh? It does look a lot better, oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, you could see that was gonna happen. And that's cast number one. Well. I'm not gonna do some damage with my next That's bit. the same fish, no, that's my good. fish, mate. It's the it same actually one. Looks like... I think he's the same fella. Oh, oh, well, where are the big ones? Yeah, I reckon we move up to the next hole. Uh, we're catching this one. All right, throw I've still got two more in here. Should we do, and then when you get to the next hole, it's rock, scissors, paper, who gets the first? But what did you mean by, no, I'm not worried about that. What do you mean by you still got two more? Two more cards. No, no, once yeah. you catch a fish, that's it. Uh -huh. Yeah. No? Uh, I'm here to win. Okay. I'm winning is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Not only does the notepad have the emergency contacts, but it's got a scoreboard in there as well. <laughs> no. I think it's 2-1. I've been keeping score for years, eh? I think you've got about one page. I've got the whole book. Yeah, he's under there, eh? Yeah. Oh, I've brought back a cast with nothing on it. Yeah, I know. That's disappointing. Eh? It's like throwing the ping pong balls in the clown's mouth. And you just miss. Oh. Different approach. Yeah, I see that casting style. Oh, he's coming over the other side. See, that's the problem with the vibe. I'm dropping down too low and I can't do that. Anyways. I don't like this three for three anymore. Yeah, no, yeah, no that's the game. That's today's game. Structure, structure, structure. Have a go at that down through there. I reckon, I reckon your slim twitch is gonna do the job here, but I'll give the vibe a run. All right, Dan's gone first cast. First of three. Oh. We've got lily pads here at this spot. Oh, yeah. That was a fish. Another one, JP. Yeah. Or is it Sooty? No, Jehu. Oh, yeah, Jehu. There's JPs in here as well. This is where Dan does the damage on the JPs. Oh, look at them hanging around down there. See that next to the lilies? Can't really have a good eye. Casting is good eye. He's gone wide. I'm, I'm, oh. Oh, that's good. They're not hitting it. I reckon, I, I reckon you need your... Um, yeah. Yeah, the sugar cream. Yeah, yep. I think there's one in my box. Yeah, because I think this is just too hairy, I can't. This is Dan's third cast, third and last. Oh, look at the side right through there. Yes. No. Yeah. I'm not out of order yet. I'm not out of order. Oh, no way. I'm not out of order yet, son. I think that's technically a fourth cast. I don't know. I wasn't out of order. It was out of the order and you put it back in. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Dan's just cheated again. 
but that that was pretty worthy. You're giving me a fairly bad name here, mate. <laughs> I think you're doing all that damage yourself, mate. <laughs> Self inflicted, eh? Yeah. Look at him. He's a. And I love I love the little. That's a good one. Try to get me. Okay. Talk's gonna play nice, and we're not going to. So. Beautiful. That's it. <clears throat> And he's like, I'll fix you up on the way out. How do you like? Big time. All right, there's, that's it. Dan's one and a half, and I am three. Our score. All right. We're back. We're back. Just had to do a battery change. Oh, we nearly got a butterfly. That doesn't count. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys the rules now, so that you all know when Dan cheats. Um, and we'll go through this together, mate. I'm gonna clean the screen. A barramundi. Or a JP, a one. An archer fish does not count. Actually, barramundi and JP are one. No other fish counts. Oh yeah, no tarp on all, no, but no sooty. Not, not a sooty. Sooty would have to okay, come Okay, okay, sooty counts. Sooty's pretty good. Sooty, JP, and barra are one. A fish over 60 centimeters. Here's the big one, three. A oh fish, yeah, three. A fish over 80 centimeters. You've won the day. It's like what six and out, is that what, like whatever that is. Yeah. If you get a fish over, what do you 80, mean? You need to play backyard cricket over the fence. That's it, six and out. Yeah. But not out. No, you're still in the game. We're still in the game. Actually, no, you are out because you've won. Everyone's out. So if we get 80, I mean, if we, if we get an 80 centimetre fish, you win. Yeah, and like when we used to play cricket when we were young, like your uncle would get in and you have a few beers and you wouldn't be, he, he can't get out in the first strike, eh? <laughs> you the, you're the old drunken uncle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, sit back then. Sit, okay. sit back, this is my turn. This looks amazing. And I'm just going to make sure Dan's filming each time because he's likely to turn the camera off. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> hey? Didn't even think of that. Yes, you did. I mean, who, really, who's keeping count? I mean, uh -oh. Oh, dummy, yeah, dummy, sitting. Dummy car. No, catch, yeah, it's good, oh, mate. Back. No, that looks good. Back. Yep, that looks good. Yeah, I'm filming, mate. It's all good. Yep. Where are you gonna throw? Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, nice cast. No, yeah. Flick it. Oh, good one, mate. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Better not, eh? No. What happened there? That's cast number two. <laughs> I can't handle the pressure. Yeah, and I mean... No, this is it. Yep, alright. Right, come on, Ah, oh, That's karma, eh? Every time you do something really stupid, karma strikes. Oh, he's coming over the top. Really? Surely something would have to buff out of there. Oh, man. I can't no, you're stop. out. I can't. You're out of luck. I... Yeah. So hard to stop. I yeah, know. And see, I'm limited to where I can cast, but yeah. anyway. Yeah, you are limited. Mate. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're moving on. I'm moving on, yep. Okay, we've done that spot. Yep. Alright, we're not doing too good. We've walked about 100 metres from the, the Land Cruiser. But it just looks so good. We just want to fish everything. Yeah, definitely, 100%. Don't judge me on my outfit. I think you win most days. Yeah. This is nice and shallow if we want to cross. What's it look like? Look at that. No, I reckon we stay this side. It looks he heavier up there, eh? Deeper. But it might be deeper on that other side. Yeah. Well, I think we're, this is the shallow part that I flew with the drone. Yeah. This is, this is I reckon we go double up. I'm filming Dan, filming me. Yeah, but I'm not going to be filming you. But I reckon we could both cast at the same time. Yeah. Here, and we just have a... Right. See, so he gets on, because that's quite deep along this other side. We've got deep water out here, deep water there, deep water, and heaps oh. of structure. What are you seeing? JP, decent too, eh? Just coming through here. All right. Just remind me to stand back, because you get the biggest, the biggest donkey-looking crocodile thing through here. I reckon. Yeah, there's some nasty lizards in here for sure. Alright, here we go. Game on. 
I'm going to sit you guys in here. So we're on two each at the moment. Roger. Feeling good about this. Oh. You can tell you took it. Oh. Sarah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh. Missed it. Two swipes. Geez, he was fast. That might have been a tarp on. Big microphone in the way. That's better. All right, come on, swamp donkey. Once again, we're after lunch. Come on, mate. Are you cheering for me now? Is that because you're hungry? Probably. No, I'm just can't wait because I don't think we've got to use all that beer for the beer batter. <laughs> I reckon there'll be half left for me. I think you're right about that. I might just walk up. Of course. To that next spot and just suss it out for us. Make sure it's all good. God, this is an amazing looking mirror. It is, eh? It's probably up there with one of the nicest things. And the problem with the vibe is you've got to run it quick with it, otherwise she's over. All right, I'll just go up here and have a look. Yeah, I know, eh? It's always that uh, that um, anticipation of what's up around the corner. Is it? Oh, yes. Oh, just here is good. You all saw it. We can fish here. Fish number three. Was it really? Yeah. Okay. Hang on, just let me have a little cast over here then. Right. Oh, look at that. That looks nasty. Oh, I like doing that. I like that. Look at this. On this beautiful little sandy stretch. Oh. What an amazing part of far north Queensland. Catching a little barramundi like this. Stop breaking, mate. Waiting for a big one. This is number three. Dan's only on two. All right, let's get him back in the water. How many have you caught? It doesn't matter. Size does count. Don't ever forget that. Don't go into there, don't go into there. He's joint down there. Dan's got one. Three for three and three. Comment below who you think the better fisherman is. Returns that with a nice backhand. He's snagged, mate. <laughs> oh well. That's what happens. Hey, that's a good side. Let's get this little hoppy off. That is not a good yeah, that's sweet, Dan. Oh, here you go, kids. If you're like Dan and I and you're always getting lures stuck. You've got to get that thing out of your mouth. Why? Alright, here you go kids. If you're like Dan and I, more like Dan I suppose, getting lures stuck in trees. Put it in a in free swivel, I don't know if it's spin or a bait caster. Give yourself some slack. This is, this is one of the best tricks I've ever... It really is. 100%. Percent. Grab your line while well, it's still tight out there. You can put your rod down, whatever. Grab it with this hand, so you like a slingshot. And then you want to, but this isn't going to work because I've already tried it and it didn't work. Okay. But it always normally works. But in theory. And then you want to slingshot it, and it normally shoots your lure back into freedom. It really does. I reckon, I reckon 85% of the time, I mean, I know that's a statistic, but it, it actually does work. Especially under the water, eh? 
I actually find it doesn't work as effective out of the water. That's coming though, I think. Oh, you don't want to lose that slim foot though, do you? No. Um, so it's mainly, it really works in rocks because your, your trebles haven't dug into the timber and half the time it's just a bib or it's just, you know, just stuck in and it will bounce back off it, but timber. Right, moving along. I think we got one each out of that hole. I'm going to beat down to the next spot. So that's three, three each. Snakes just want to get out of your way. They're scared. So if you walk slow enough, let them know you're coming. They'll move. Yeah. Alright, we've got to cross over again. But we're just we're just really cautious out here for crocodiles. So we're looking for a nice shallow spot. There's another big deep hole coming up, so we're both pumped to get up there. Yeah, this is safe. I can see that in there. He's doing it. Oh. Dan has gone and done it. Watered down his skinny jeans into his boots. Mate, bone dry, eh? Are they good? Got an ounce of water <laughs> in them. You don't even need to bring a water bottle. $250 pair of boots. <laughs> I should have done the shoey. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Alright, snooze you lose mate, I'm going fish. Oh, wait a while it's got me. Yeah, it's all good. Oh. Safe that way, pretty safe this way. Yeah, that's a good spot. Yeah. That big log there is annoying. There's a good chance he'll lose the fish too when he tries to get it in over there, so that works in my favour. Oh, he's got it in a good spot. Here we go. What are you doing? You need a pit stop? Do you want to take this position? Because I think no, I'm good. you're happy there. I am. Um, at some point, we have to stop the competition. Oh, pizza being here. Yeah. Stop the competition and just catch lunch. Yeah. Because I can see me hating you and you hating me by the end of the competition because we're so hungry. Oh, I think so. That was a nice cast. Pretty happy with that. I mean, I've I've always been on your side, especially now I'm hungry. Yep, too small. 
So that's the difference between the Vibe and the Slim Twitcher in the... Doesn't count. No, no, but just a different environment. Oh, yeah. Different. But that's where that kind of works with us. You love plastics, I love hard bodies. Yep. And, and the, the water course that we're fishing, we sort of cover all aspects. There's of obviously more designed for hard bodies today. Uh, it also comes into it like the, be the better fishing. Blah, 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 blah. I have this wicked habit of just not like looking even in the camera when I'm filming. I'm just like looking at you. And I don't think I even caught any of that. You serious? Yep. Watching crack it. Yeah, I think most of the time I had that pointing at the ground. You're just trying to piss me off. I know, <laughs> I know what you're doing. Oh, actually. Oh, no. What, even worse, I, I forgot to press record. Okay, mate, you're not cracking a whip. Just cast the bloody thing. Oh, no, I'm moving up here. I am for high ground, I think. Am I ready for lunch? Yes, I am. Oh, I didn't go deep enough. Maybe you should walk the other way. Yeah, who knows? We, I don't even know if we're heading upstream or downstream here. We're heading upstream. You reckon? It's getting low. Yeah. Watch. Oh no, this feels like a catfish. Oh, I dropped it. New rule. Catfish. You gotta go for a swim. Minus one. Oh. <laughs> okay, that sounds better than my yeah. idea. <laughs> hey. We probably should have walked the other way. Yeah. Never mind. But I think we go a little bit further. Yeah, I reckon we'd maybe do another bend, another deep hole, another yeah. bend and see what's going on. Yeah. I'd love to send the drone up for you guys from here, but. We crashed it into the tree the other day. The little Mavic that we carry in the backpack. Gone. Now we got it back, but the gimbal's a bit iffy. We're gonna play with it tonight. That looks bloody good. Matt's gonna play with his gimbal tonight. I'll film that for you. <laughs> Don't. No one wants to see that. No, let's go. Oh, get in there. Give, little, give you a little push and... How's that looking? What sort of slippery slide? Fine, man. Oh, yeah. Not like a big, big black thing that makes a slippery slide down the embankment. Oh. Who would have thought I'd be on my hands and knees coming through here? There you go. Piece of piss. Yeah, you got caught up. Caught right up in between my... We'll just wait a while for Dan. Hang on. Do you need a pit stop and I'll keep casting? I keep saying that, don't I? But this spot here looks good. Just pure frustration. Thought the weight of wild had me, but it wasn't. It was my own lure. I tangled on my bag. And... and yep, I had caught myself. Probably about as amateur as you can get. Yeah. You didn't miss much. I just threw a terrible cast. Okay. Oh, this is it. Oh, oh, oh. nice rebound. Can we? Yep. Ah. Nice. Look at the colour of it. It's He's red. Pink. Looks like a bloody jack. Let's back up a bit. Yeah. Because I've um, never seen a bag of that colour. Look at, look at the pink in it. Even look at his dorsals. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Look at that light coming through. Look at that. 
you guys have ever seen a barrel that colour, I know a lot of you out there are fishermen, let us know what you think causes that. Some kind of tannin in the water. Yeah, I'd say so. That's got to be tannin, eh? Yeah. All right. It just seems to be getting worse and worse. Alright, this is it. Let's make the call. This is the last Yeah, part. we'll hit this last little section. We're going to have to run up high across the top of you. Alrighty, let's do it. Lily's over there. Crungle here. Structure there. This is a nice deep hole. The Mako's on so I can see in there better. Alright. Okay. That cast was for demonstration purposes only. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is left click here. Uh, look for a cross. Terry, what are you going to do with your last cast? I'm going to drop them there. Same spot? Yeah, as I can. Yeah. And this is the last corner too, guys. We're going to, even though it looks cool down there, we're calling it. If we don't catch yeah. fish here, we're going back that way. Head the other direction. Alright, take over camera two, let's see what happens here. Yeah. Actually looks like it drops off quite nice. Potential. You're running such more an advantage with the, that twitch float and like that. Really? An advantage you call it? Yeah. I'm calling it. Hang on, hang on. Right. What we're going to do here, purely for content purposes, this is not because I want to keep fishing, we're going to change to a gold lure that's a little bit deeper. And see there you go, you reckon? Hey? There you go. There we go. Yeah. Now, if you guys want a good knife, K bar flip 90, I think it's called. Absolutely amazing. Honestly, tell them, this thing comes everywhere with me. Does it not? K bar. Yeah. Yeah, you've you've been liking it lately. From slicing tomatoes to brain and crabs to oh, buttering my toast. Sleeping with it. What do you reckon guys? Look what I've got. This is Dan's little That's a sugar pen. Yep, Baste sugar pen, fifty eight. That's what did the damage, but in this colour. Yeah, in that orange isn't it? On the JP's jungle perch. I think the clear would have gone as good, I'm not sure but I don't know, I tried that on the popper, no, nothing. No joy. You're right in that, you're in a heap of uh, green ants there. Yeah, I can feel them. Look, they're all on climbing up this here. I'm gonna grab one for a pucker. Oh, we missed him. Bit of payback. They give a bit of a bite, but it's not bad. It's not like the... But the bum is really sweet. That little bum part there, if you're hungry. How hungry are you? Oh, I'm going to hang out here. <laughs> you what? Oh, come on. <laughs> that one was sour. Was it? Yeah, really sour. He hasn't been eating this week. Um, now, you know what's exciting? We checked, we checked the uh, crab pots That's this morning. Lunch. And we have a mud crab, a big buck. If you haven't seen yesterday's episode, jump back and look at that. We did a mud crab in the Osbry and it was crab. absolutely oh, amazing. Glorious. Dan, Dan said best crab he's ever had. Oh, the fullest, the crab, fullest crab. crab. Oh mate, the thing was chalky. It was chalky amazing. Full of meat, eh? Tastes good. Bit bitter, yeah. Tastes like much that one. Mm. You're right, it's not sweet. Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're normally really sweet. Yeah. The bum's normally pretty sweet. But um, anyway, Nate's going to tie this uh, 
lure on, a little bit deeper diver, different colour. See how it rolls. Um, we'll give it a few casts, a few flicks. I'm keen just to head on out of here and go get some lunch. I've got a loop knot, even though it's on a split ring there. Or you just try and put your tags in your tackle box or your backpack or whatever. Alright, it's good to go. So if you just uh, hit the uh, teleport button on your remote, that's just down the bottom right hand corner, we'll teleport back straight to the session this morning with the mud crabs. Check it out, we'll get there, get a few big um, bucks and a little nasty surprise in the pot. Go check it out now. Oh, this is it, this is Ah, oh, we've got a shark, eh? Hey? He's, um... Alright, so we've got a shark, he's still alive in the pot here, and we've got a couple of muddies. That one looks like a buck, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah. But we're going to get the shark back in the water as quick as possible, yeah. and release him. Um, yeah. And watch out, because they can, he can, like that, he can come around and bite pretty decently. Anyway, we'll get him, look at that. Good release, mate. That's about as good as he gets. Good release. Look him down. He's out of there. He's out. The old come around from behind like the blue healer. <laughs> Snip. <laughs> Got him. Good size. That's a nice muddy. You. And we're back to knife flicking boots. Are we back? We're back. Is everyone back? We're back in the middle of nowhere with no food and can't catch a bloody fish. All right, we'll just change to this gold guy. I think he's a Bass Day Boost, um, Boost 90. This is actually, I think it's called Baratune, so you've got better trebles on it. It's ready for some big barra. It's got a nice easy to it. Nice little shimmy. Shimmy in a sec. Wonder how much water would come stomping through here in the wet season. Picked up a bloody lead. Yeah, I reckon a lot. Yeah, looking at the damage going up on up the top there, eh, with all the just kind of pulverised all the uh, big old logs. All right. You gotta call it. Yeah. <sighs> Over and out for this session. It's been a quiet little run. Oh, it was good at the start. We nailed a few really. Well, you would have seen that. Neither of us won. Just no. Three, three and three, I think. Yeah. Four. But we're going to move back down. Four, three. Mm -hmm. We still got to catch lunch, so we're just going to hightail it in the high yep. ground up here. I think, and we'll see you back. We'll just, yeah, we'll see how that looks when we get there. Yeah. Over and out. See if Nate's caught anything, see if we've got lunch going, I doubt it, I haven't heard any big woohoos yet, so yeah, slow, very slow day, it's funny because even the boys were on patrol there yesterday when we were in, um, down at Rifle Creek and uh, they got one but they, yeah, they normally slam, they reckon pretty good down that way so and they just reckon it was pretty slow going yesterday and today even feels different with all this cloud cover and the heat, everything feels you know, it actually feels like it could rain, but I think in the dry season here, you got like probably 5% chance of a precipitation through the whole dry season. So, so but anyway, we'll um, give Nate a yoo-hoo. Nate! All good? Yep, he's good. I don't know, he seems like he's further away now. Should uh, send the drain off and fall on him. Anyway, not, not pa part of the plan of attack to separate. So this is what you've got to be careful, eh? You don't want to... what's that? Oh, it's what can happen. I'll go, I'm going to go for a walk and see if I can just find him. He sounds like he's on the other bloody side of the river. But he can't be. Unless he's been dragged across the other side of the river. I hope not. I ain't swimming across to get him. No, I probably would. Anyway, God, I don't know. Here he is, this is him up here, eh? Like I've almost had to walk back three k's to find you, man. 
But I think the only reason was because I think I was about three k's that much further of the car. Yeah, I've, there's a few little spots up there, but they look look good. Nah. Oh, I got what I had. Sorry, right at the car, I got one little one again. I reckon it was the same fella that we actually caught. <laughs> but it, yeah, it was only tiny. <sighs> yeah, I changed lure too. Five times. I swapped my lures over. He hasn't come back up. He likes that slim twitch, and that was it. Yeah. Yeah, I swapped over to just pure braid. You lost one, did you? Yeah. Where'd you leave? The vibe. <laughs> Camera out of the tripod here. Yeah. I was thinking um, the muddy was going to be like, you can't, I can't, you can't double film. I'm filming you, you film me. Um, well, I'm thinking the crab might be good for lunch oh, on, yeah. on the Osbury. What are we going to do for lunch? I don't know, mate. But I just gave that about 30 minutes of five different lures. And red hot go. Red hot go. He came up for another look, that first big one. But one look and that was it. Wouldn't come up with anything else. I know. So I don't know what to do for lunch. Copy. I don't know if I can handle a coffee on it. Oh, so yeah. Empty, I know, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my stomach acid is actually eating from my stomach at the moment. I've actually, this is no joke, I've actually pulled up two notches in my belt. Oh, yeah? Yep. Well, you've got the cruiser. What's I in your fridge? I haven't got a notch in my belt, but uh, no. Well, literally, I've, I reckon just from dropped a bit of weight. So if you're looking at going on any sort of diet, maybe if you want to come with us, Wild Reaches, for a week. The Wild Reaches diet? Yeah. yeah, you might get two days of good food and then the rest is not going to be so great. But anyway, what's in the fridge? What's in the angle? What's in the angle? Beer. No, no, you, no, there is. I think there's a couple of cold beers in there. Blueberries? That'd be bloody nice, right? I'm and uh, almond milk? Yeah. And... Penny. Oh, I don't have the food box. I could have done just tomato and cheese on crackers. That would have been nice. That with salt. salt. Mm -hmm. And jalapenos. Anyway, we'll see you when we got lunch. Alright, we've just driven back up to another spot where we were before um, and we thought it was the wrong way so we swung around and went up the other end of this little track. And it's looking like it's looking nice and sandy and clear. Whereas the further we walked in the other direction, which is where we've been going for the last I don't know, three or four hours, trying to catch lunch, it just got the water got slower and dirtier, darker, and um, narrower. So I'm going to walk this way for a little bit. It's gone past, well past lunch now. Now we're trying to catch dinner. We've got a crab back at camp. One crab is a big buck, but I reckon we need a fish to go with it. So, how good's that look, mate? It's pretty reedy through there. Yeah. Right? It looks different. There's, there's a little hole. A little chasm underneath there, right? Oh, this is exciting. It looks different all like different again. Doesn't take much to get Dan excited. He was just saying he's not coming, but now he's coming. With no rod. He doesn't even have a fishing rod. No. Finally, I got my cameraman. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, but I mean, we've been saying... Oh my god. We've been saying that though for like every hole. I know, have it. Now, cameraman, I need you to get down in the water. Yep looking back at me as yep. I cast Got it. Alright. Okay. Alright, we'll drag this side. This looks really cross. You, uh, well, is that pigs? But look how all the reeds over there are all laying down. Mm. So you wouldn't know where these slid in over that. <coughs> and I know we keep on saying it and people keep on saying, well, we... That, we haven't seen a crocodile, but the thing is... They're here, but we don't get to see them. They're not stupid. But anyway, yeah, the boys are walling all that. They know they're here, they've seen them, they're aware of them. What are you doing? Must have done something bad or fallen down the ranks pretty good. I thought you would have gone up there. Yeah, that's why I didn't bring my... Yeah, but not here. Looks a lot deeper up through there. I'd love to see a goanna. 
making that hole there. Oh, that would be tough going. That's what I was just talking about before, but it does look like a lot of pig action through there. how underprepared I am. So I'm going down to the pub to watch the horse races. Not walking through the bloody... Sorry. It's pretty strict on this camera. thinking I don't have the pliers and then he jumped off. Oh, same, that same dark colour, eh? Yeah. Yeah, same, that's real. I suppose I mean the water's dark, so. That's the sort of stuff you don't like. Was he? Yeah. He came up and nudged it. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh. Got him. Oh. How good is this visual game? You can fully see him come up. That's and what I don't like. That's why I think that my problem is instead of looking through the camera, I don't get to see the action. Got him. That's a better one. A little bit better. That's better. Well, he's They're getting a little bit bigger as it gets closer to dinner time. They're getting bigger. Let's hope for a bigger one, eh? We should have come down here for lunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need something about 20 centimeters bigger. Tell all your friends. Run again. Come on. Green twitcher. That thing is like, mate, honestly, that rivals a gold bomber. It does. It's an amazing rule. I really like it. Wish I got more colours in it. Yeah, that's, it's hard to name it because you just. That was looking like one of the best casts. Why are you being so nice? What's going on? I'm always nice. I'm generally a nice sort of guy. And I'm pretty hungry for a popcorn barrel tonight. Even that little bit of 
structure there. Plenty of rats in here, right? Yeah, I know, that's a problem. Imagine yeah. if they were horses. Yeah. Where are the big girls? Little pup. I think you said they're getting bigger. <laughs> they're getting smaller at the moment. I was hanging off it, having a look. You doing so nice? Oh, oh, oh that was it's lucky. dropped down. Thought that was going to wrap. Oh, I can't see it, it's going out of my view. Hold the ground. It's so different to salt water fishing. I if anywhere was going to fly, I would be. There. Yeah. On that back hole there. Sort of blows me away. Like, I, I just wonder whether it could be a. Like, look at yesterday, that river system. I would have thought they would have fired. Is it the moon? Yeah, is it to do with the moon or something at the moment? Well, it is. We're only like a couple a, of days before no moon. Yeah, that's right, which is never, we're on the wrong lead up. Yep, yep, yep. He's on. Oh, he's uh, damn, I thought it was bigger. Yeah, it looked bigger. The jump looked impressive. Oh, the old no pies, but Nate's not actually putting that knife into the fish. He's literally, um, you can see, just bending it around the, one of the other trebles. And um and levering it like that to lever the fucking D hooker. D hooker, yeah. Actually doesn't work too bad like that, eh? Yeah. So it's definitely not yeah. It may look like that on camera, but it's not. I like to mix it up. Yeah, I'm I'm not a man to be routine. I like to have a <coughs> variety. But when the me uh, the menu says crabs and veggies, that's the only thing. But hey, oh, hang on. Game changer alert. What? Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. What? Deep fried banana. Oh, really? I can't be excited because I've never had it. <laughs> well, put it in the bank of things that you haven't had. And after tonight, mate. It's going to rock your socks off. Really? And don't think that it's a luxury item. The bananas are pretty well gone off. We have oil for cooking up our fish and we have a little bit of uh, flour. So I just got to make a batter pretty much, eh? Pretty sure. Oh, mate, you've been telling me you're all over here. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking, actually, I'm thinking how Hales does it at home. <laughs> I don't know. I can't admit it. I don't normally do it. <laughs> I just eat it. <laughs> I knew it. No, I no, knew it. no. I know. It's the only thing I haven't got is normally we have cinnamon at home. But that, you know, that could have been washed down from anywhere and wedged in there. Come on, guys. Like if you're doing that, leaving the beer cans out here. Yeah. Well, hopefully someone hasn't just come here. But I mean, possibility. But who would actually even be in here? Yeah, I don't know. So that's what I mean. It could easily be from way anywhere, washed down. In the belt. Get in oh, and come on, forex gold. Oh, come on, guys. That's Back even, to that again. Come on, that's even that's even worse. No. Right, I was going to say maybe there might be an animal living inside of it, but no animals living inside of forex gold. Just uh, tied on something a little bit deeper, a little bit slimmer, and a complete different colour. Yeah, it goes. Sometimes all you need is a change. You know what I'm thinking, yeah. I know what you're thinking. Yeah. I'm you on to you. You can put a set of trebles at the back of that. It'd be like a torpedo. It'd be like a gold bomber. Mm. See what I did there? Did you? Yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> I shouldn't have to explain my humor, though, should I? No, not really. I think it's I've got a twig hanging off the rear end there. When you've got to explain a joke, it sort of takes the shine off the joke a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, this trip, I'd say the slim twitch has been a standout. Yeah. Where 
Where's dinner, mate? Well, I'd, I'd like to say it's back at the camp, but it's not. Well, it is a little bit half. We do need to get back, actually. I've got five fingers of bananas. Yeah, well, we'll drop in to the station, see the boys, see how they went today. I'm really hoping that they didn't do so good as well because it would make us feel a lot better. Okay. So, guys, young fellas, Dan and I know fishing experts, but if you want to see more of something or if you've got any questions about what lures we're using, what leader, you know, what braid, um, all that kind of stuff, Make sure you comment below or send us a message on Instagram. Dan checks those messages all the time. No, I'll check them and I'll get back to you. Not that I don't care. It's just that my iPhone 5 doesn't really pick up Instagram. And is that a 5? Mate, I keep on saying one day that thing is going to be worth a fortune. It's almost like a collector's item now. Anyway, better get the camera back over here. It's a floater? No. I think it is. It's a slow floater. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he come up at it. Oh, he was on it. Yeah, it's winging it. Yeah, I reckon it'd be, I reckon it'd be going much. Do you reckon it'd be later than 2.30? Yeah. Really? Five. Hey? I reckon it'd be about 5. You all joshing me. No. Yeah, we gotta go, right? Well. Oh, would you not? Nah. It's not five o'clock, o'clock man. Then again, I have been known to be young before. The sun is. Yeah. Tell you what, mate, you're lucky I'm a bloody good talker. Well, maybe not good, but I can talk a lot. You don't realise that when I get home, I just delete all this stuff out of the content. Really? <laughs> <That's a> <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on it. Oh. Nah, what is that? That's one. a little tarp on there. You know the upside to all this? We don't have to now try and cross salt flats at high tide because we swung around and came the other way. Oh, yeah. Imagine pulling the boat out now and trying to mm. navigate high tide across the salt pan. I don't even know if there is such a thing as navigating high tide across the salt pan. Not in my ute anyway. No. A man with more patience would tie a surface lure on right now. But we need to get out of here. A man with more patience is standing on the camera watching the bloke fishing. That's that's, true. that's the man with patience. That's true. Confucian man say. And it's surprising. Well done, mate. Mm. Alright, let's take this beer can. Is it is there anything in it? No. no. We're gonna get out of here because we need to. I don't really want to be in here in the dark. We'll probably get lost. Yeah. Not in here, but out there on the track. Yeah. The we just want to be able to get a clear run out. Yeah. Should that. Well, we're pretty safe from the salt. It is a beautiful time of the afternoon, though. It is. Right? When it, it, everything. I don't know. I think it's just how. Even that, the light coming yeah, through, through there. there. And it just everything cools down. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not a massive fan of midday. <laughs> Sorry midday, but like, look, between you and me, I'm, yeah, I'm, I prefer, even when I'm working in concreting, midday is not a great time of the day for us. It's either early morning or late afternoon. Oh, I just, is that, is that wait a while? Yeah. Well, it's not wait a while, I think. Yeah. yeah, that run down there. Yeah, that does look like a pretty nice little run. So, anyway, back to midday. <laughs> look, I haven't got a problem with you. Or anything like that, because you've been happening for about 40 years of my life. So, but anyway. Are you that old? No. <laughs> no, I only realised midday like 20 years ago. That makes me probably 60 now. Nah. Yeah, I know. But I'm, I'm a young looking 60 year old man, I would say. Anyway, shut up. I think I'm starting to go stir crazy. It's the hunger. It's the hunger that makes me go silly. Uh, I'll tell you what, there's been a... Oh, yeah, bloody scrub took again. Oh, come on! Oh, anyway... What a day! Yeah. Another slow day fishing. I think the content was fantastic myself, but anyway... 
We did catch. Because I was on the camera all day. We did catch. Um, sorry, the camera, the cameraman just found me. We did catch. Well, I don't know. See that no, he's lost me again. Sorry. Hi, guys. <laughs> we did catch sorry. about 15 barra, I reckon. I reckon we caught at least four each down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, well, we did. We did. We caught four, four each so at least. Eight. And then another four there. There's 12. Yeah, eight. What are you ha hanging on about? No, I'm just adding up. And then four down there. Like, it's not a terrible day fishing, but for us, like, when we're chasing either lunch, A, or a big barra, B, it's, um, I don't know what that was. No, that's what I was just looking at. Is that through the vent? There's like, I see you guys can't probably see that, but through the whole water, here it is. It's whatever it is, it's up here. Yep. So it's traveling through the water, but it's made, it's like throwing all the sand up all through the water there. So there's a little ripple on the surface. I'm just inquisitive to see what that actually is that's doing that. Yeah, I'm on you. I was on you. Yeah. From about 400 metres away. Whatever that other one was. So yesterday and today, Dean and I get real funny. Like we've got, we get plans where we want to go on a mission and nail it, and we know there's good fish. And if things change, it can be. Look at this little guy here. He looks like a finch. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, we get on these missions and then things change and we both get bummed and, um, you know, when the plan doesn't really go to plan. So today just threw right out. We ended up doing something completely different. And now you kind of think back and think, should we just cross those salt flats and pushed for that river and um, go on the way that we, th we thought we'd be able to get there. But, you know, we could have got stuck. The tide could have come in. We could have lost the cruiser and all that. So, I don't know. But I said to Dan, you can't, every day can't be amazing. You know, otherwise days like when we were on the Massey Creek there a few episodes back and we had those barra and it was crystal clear water and you could see their nose on the lure right at your feet and then them just imploding and, and smacking those lures. That wouldn't be as special. So you've got to have the good with the bad. Um, we still had an amazing day up here in Cape York and um, I hope you guys really enjoyed the episode. And we're going back now. We're going to go talk to the boys at the, at the station and see what they did today. I know they shot down the coast fishing. Must have had the day off. And um, we're gonna try and line up a fun day tomorrow with them, which would be some really cool content. So make sure you jump back on for the next episode. Um, right now, Dan's got the drone in the sky because the sun is gonna go down over the back there. <coughs> Out there over the McElwraith Ranges. Um, and yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna head back, talk to the boys, and then go back to camp. All we've got is a crab, one crab. And um, we do have like salad and pasta and stuff in the fridge, so I'm trying to come up with a plan to cook something yummy. Mm -hmm.